Newbie reporting for duty with a head-to-head -head competition. The Jack Glassless equipped Moors versus the Jack Glassless equipped Stalker. Which one's going to win for my rushing weapon? First of all, the ADS speed, definitely to the Moors. Moors is about 100 milliseconds, 90 milliseconds faster. Everything else, pretty close sprint to fire. Swap speed, though. That one goes to the Moors. So I pulled them both into a shipment map to get the closest competition possible. Not exactly the same lobby, so that could have a bit of an outcome impact. But the Moors worked around very quickly. Aim downside. The glassless added 13% ADS better for the Moors and about nine, eight, nine percent for the XRK. The Moors wins for effective damage. It can get the one-shot kill out a bit further, and the bullet velocity goes to the Moors. Rate of fire, though, um, that's kind of a mysterious one. 200 for the Moor, 75 for the Stalker. But if you take a look at them head to head, here the weapon that disappears first has the fastest rechamber and thus probably the fastest fire rate. You can see the XRK wins that one. Not by much, but it does win. So that 200 rounds per minute rate of fire. I just don't see it for the Moors. So like I said, I bebopped around shipment with both of them. Here's some feedback or views of the Moors game. Definitely got to soak and get the flag. Put out the turret. Soaking again at B. That's the key one to get. Built up a pretty good lead in this game and the Moors, it was performing. I think I had 51 kills and 10 or so captures. There's a collateral, and I was surprised by that. I have not noticed a collat with the Moors. And now we switch to the Stalker. Same map, different game mode, but close. It's an objective mode. Now here's the thing you need to keep in mind when you're looking at these two together. The Moors... Definitely powerful, a one-shot kill down to the lower torso, as is the Stalker. But when you're rushing around, you need to consider that the Moors is not a one-shot kill to the upper legs. The Stalker, at least at the moment, it is. I like the Jack Glasslicks optic on both of them. I like the increased or decreased really ADS, the increased efficiency of aiming down sight. Felt a lot faster than something like the longbow. I think it's a both are better rushing weapons now than the longbow. Longbow works for rechamber, I get it. But the power and the range of both of these. I, I just can't beat, in my opinion. So we did similarly in this game mode. I think I ended up with 53 kills over two and a half minutes of soak time. Uh, the team wouldn't help me out on that. We ended up losing by one point and not a lot of help soaking on the hard point. But depending, doesn't matter. I play as good a citizen as I possibly can. There I get gacked. I get gacked by somebody's remote turret. It does better work than mine. And there it is again. I tried to beat it to death, but it just didn't work. Somebody throws out some tear gas. And, of course, you need to use the pistol to show the enemy you love them. I felt like the stalker's better at picking people off head glitches, but, ironically enough, I picked off plenty with the Moors in that first game. There's the pistol again.
And then trying to stay ahead. Whoop. That one didn't seem to hit, although it was right on him. That one did. As did that one. I'm not a sniper, never claimed to be. And we lose. But this is kind of an evaluation for a non-sniper. The more is definitely faster ADS and better range. I think the XRK has a slightly faster fire and has bullet penetration. The Moors is a better loadout because you don't need to change out the magazine. You're going to have a lot of shots. And the XRK is a one shot to the upper legs. That could be important. In the end, I think it just depends on you. It depends on the map and it depends on what you feel best with. So anyway, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers, peace to you, and we'll see you in the next video.